Hey guys, Chef Jason, your Ace Hardware Grilling Expert. Today, oh, I'll tell you what, something amazing because we're taking some pork belly burnt ends that we had left over. Can't tell you why they were left over. I don't know, but we're turning them into some amazing jalapeno poppers on the big green egg. So we're gonna get that pork belly deliciousness with a little bit of that awesome charcoal finish. So uh, yeah, thank you for hanging out with us. Let's get cooking. Our ingredients today, simple, but tasty and fantastic. Some fresh jalapenos. We went with kind of a small to medium size because we're gonna split them in half today. And I'll tell you, there's no telling if these are hot or not. So we're gonna find out in the quality control. Then look at this. We've got some pork belly burnt ends that are left over and a little bit of barbecue sauce. So we chop those guys up nice. Eight ounces of cream cheese, definitely gonna give some smoothness and wonderful flavor. Then we've got a little bit of jalapeno jelly, a little bit of breadcrumbs today to kind of thicken this mix up so it doesn't melt out. A little bit of our fire salt to add that sweet, smoldering, wonderful heat. And then, you know, bacon to wrap everything up. Now, we're gonna toothpick these guys at the end, make sure we've got them all set. And then look at this. We're going on the expander today and we're gonna put them on our drip trays as well. But before we head into prep, let's get out and get that grill started. Okay, so the first thing we did is we went ahead and stirred it with our ash tool to uh, get that charcoal all set and ready to go. Then we refreshed it with a nice new pile of charcoal on top. Okay, now that we've got that little red ember pile, time for the fan, because now what I wanna do is get the fire started, get this charcoal burning. We've got the bottom wide open and the top wide open while we get this up to that 450 degrees. So we'll go ahead and finish this fire up, get everything set, then we'll come back and show you how we get it adjusted and hold that temp right at 450. So we're gonna be holding today at 450 degrees. I've got the screen fully closed. I've got the vent about half closed or half open, depending how you look. Come up top here, let's show you what we're doing on the top vent. Our goal is 450 degrees, so we're gonna leave this open about three quarters of the way to really let that heat start building up. And then as the temperature gets closer into that 400, 450 degree range, we'll adjust this down, kind of in micro adjustments to hold it. So when we come back and get cooking, we'll show you that final adjustment. Okay, we just hit 300 degrees, so we'll add the convector and the expander system, uh, giving us really that dual level cooking. Now, we'll adjust the bottom vent, top vent, to get to that and maintain that 450 degree cooking temperature. So we've added all of our ingredients to the bowl. We've got the cream cheese in there, the pork belly burn ends. We added those breadcrumbs, the jalapeno jelly, and then we finished it off with fire salt. Now we're going to go ahead and mix it, right? Just letting us really get in here, get everything worked in together uh, and do a nice job. Hey, my chef's tip of the day, be sure to let that cream cheese soften at room temperature for about an hour. It'll make your mixing a lot easier. Okay, when it comes to cutting the jalapeno, I'm gonna cut it right in half, and I'm gonna leave this end on because I need it to kind of form a little canoe, right? Or a little boat. Then, using my teaspoon, I'm just gonna get in there nice, scrape all of that out. Hey, chef's tip, gloves, definitely helpful, but that's it right there. All right, we've got these all scooped out. Like I said, the teaspoon, totally your chef's tip of the day. Then we made that little canoe, which is gonna help hold everything in. Now, what I'll do is carefully just come over here, and I'm gonna put a little bit in there, just like that, I don't wanna to pack too much in there. We'll get it set like that. Now, toothpick method again for this bacon. Don't forget, count your toothpicks in and count your toothpicks out. That will make sure you don't leave any behind and anyone uh, ends up eating a toothpick. So, we'll grab our piece of bacon like so, and I'm just gonna wrap it around carefully, like that. And then, I'm gonna pick it, you guys, right through the middle of the jalapeno to hold that bacon in place and just like that look at beautiful wrapped delicious tasty little jalapeno popper now we'll go ahead and fill the rest of these guys get them all wrapped and then like i said we've got them on that drip tray today that's going to catch anything that happens to uh, boil over and just like that we are done everything is wrapped ready to go we're going to head out onto the big green egg we've got that sitting right at 450 with the convector so let's get out all right, we are preheated right at 450. We'll go ahead and put this guy right on that level, and then we'll go ahead and put this on the top level. Now, we're gonna let these go about 25 to 30 minutes. We always say it's gonna be dependent upon the doneness of that bacon. So we'll get this closed, make sure we've got it all set and adjusted. We're cooking. Time to burp and check these out. Oh, seriously, here we are right after 30 minutes. We have bacon of every doneness too. Look at this, like a little crispy bacon if you want that and a little undercooked. So let's grab these guys out. We're gonna head into the kitchen. I'm gonna show you how we garnish these guys up, get them all ready to go. 25 to 30 minutes of cook time. And I'll tell you, 25 minutes is gonna give you this, a little bit undercooked bacon, right? A little bit softer. 30 minutes is gonna give you that crispy, juicy, wonderful bacon. Now. 
We finished them with a little bit of bayou dust and a little bit of fire honey just to give them that ooh and that ah. But now, chef's tip of the day, don't forget... When it comes time to plate these up and you pull that toothpick out, make sure you count your toothpicks. I always set them in a different spot and know, you know, if you had 12 or 20 going in, you take 12 or 20 going out. That way nobody gets a toothpick. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget, click subscribe, hit those post notifications because you want to be notified when all of our videos go live. And then, as we always say, questions, comments, we love them. Keep them coming. It helps us uh, really create the content that you want to watch as well. Now, jalapeno poppers on the Big Green Egg. Coming up at the end, we've got more fantastic Big Green Egg videos for you to peruse and enjoy and cook and really uh, amplify your cooking experience on the Big Green Egg. I, uh, I'm ready and I have a feeling these jalapenos are gonna be a little bit hot today. I know I've said that before, but I'm going after this guy right here, all that bacon and deliciousness. Cheers. Uh, seriously, I wish we could find a way to know if the jalapenos were spicy or not, because these guys are smoking. 